Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to show you how to add a roof in Home By Me. So without further ado, let's dive straight in. So to begin, you need to be first of all in 2D view mode, which you can change at the bottom of the page. And what you're going to do is go up to the very top of your ribbon. You'll see uh, it says first floor. You want to just open this up and you want to add a floor. Once you've added a floor, you'll see it says second floor, and this is where we are going to be working on. So we're now on our second floor, and we need to create a wall. So let's go up to the top left. You'll see this menu, and let's click on Add Wall. Now what we'll do here is literally just click down and drag and draw a wall. Click down again to stop drawing your wall. And you can continue dragging so that you can draw a wall all the way around your room. Now, you don't need to worry too much about the spacing right now, because once you click on validate right here at the top, you can go and change the size. So let's click on this first wall and you can see that it brings up an arrow and you can now just resize the wall. So making sure that we are resizing it properly. So over here it says 424.5 and 444.5. So that is a difference of 20 centimeters. We want to make sure the same applies over here. And you can see 444.5, 444.5. We can now go ahead and do the same over here and click down and drag it over to make it the same size. So this is what it will now look like. The next step we need to take is we are going to click on this above wall and this below wall. And this is if you want your roof to pitch going this way. If you'd like to let your roof pitch the other way, you'll have to select the wall, which is currently on the left and the right. But I'm going to use the top and the bottom. What we're going to do is select it, click on edit. On the right hand side here, you will see a few options. You want to select the sloped wall, put that on. And then naturally it will go and change the depth to half of the width of your room. So we're going to keep that at 146. But if you'd like to just double check that, select this wall, take that size, which is 290, and just go back in here. And you want to just halve it. So if you go and say 290 divided by 2 gives you 145 okay so we can make that 145 you can do the exact same on the bottom over here and you also want to keep this height over here pretty low so we're going to leave it at two centimeters again we're going to make the wall sloped 145 and two centimeters this pretty much is the slope and if you exit this and you go into 3d mode you can actually view your sloped roof